Social distancing in schools may soon be getting a little bit easier. The CDC looking to update its guidelines to require students to stay just three feet apart instead of six. Well, so what prompted this change and what effect might it have on learning in the classroom? Fox 5's Teresa Priolo takes a closer look. As soon as our guidance came out, it became very clear that six feet was among the things that was keeping schools closed. New guidance for the configuration of our classrooms is on the horizon. The CDC saying they'll soon update the recommendations, suggesting student desks remain six feet apart. The word is the revised guidance will push them closer to three feet. And there was a recent study that came out that looked at schools in Massachusetts, and they all had different physical distancing. Uh, in terms of the desks. And what they found, there was no difference in the rate of infection for desks that were six feet apart versus three feet. Dr. John White is the chief medical director at WebMD. For him, it comes down to science, and the science shows schools are safe, whether at six feet or three feet apart. Really, you can have nearly double the number of students that you previously had. And, and that's good for that sense of community and engaging with your classmates. More desks might also mean an overall loosening of restrictions in districts across the country. More children in schools, less reliance on a hybrid or all remote learning model, and then perhaps a return to after school activities and even lunch in cafeterias. And then perhaps we'll see a return to recess where kids can interact with each other to some degree. I think masks are going to stay for the entire school year. Fox 5 reached out to the New York City hey, Department mommy. of Education to see if they plan on changing their classroom configurations. Okay. Nathaniel Steyer told us, Our gold standard approach to health and safety keeps our school community safe and positivity rates extremely low. We will continue to follow public health experts as we closely evaluate any new guidance from the CDC if and when it's released. As for when it might be released, the CDC says soon. I've worked in the federal government and often when you say uh, something will be released in July, we often joke, what year? But I, I think the issue of soon most likely is probably within a week or so. They wouldn't have made that announcement unless they've already started to really have this almost complete. Teresa Priolo, Fox 5 News.